Hey guys, this is Peter and today I want to talk to you about T-Mobile Home Internet and well some of the limitations that exist with the service and the hardware and how we're able to find solutions for those using different modes. I'm going to talk to you about well bridge mode and uh, modem only mode. The reason I'm going to talk about the two different modes is one we can do for free with the existing hardware. Let's talk about the different things that came up. So the first off is well that this gateway is well, part of the solution that comes from T-Mobile. It's an excellent device and it'll work well if you are in a small home or an apartment, a dorm room, because you don't have that large of an area. And the area that you wanted to receive the 5G signal and then make Wi-Fi from are probably the same. But if you live in a house, chances are you're probably gonna get the best 5G signal on one end of the house or the other, and you probably want the access point in the middle. We're able to solve that using a modem only mode. That was the first thing I did when I got this device in the mail is I went ahead and plugged it into my existing router. That's right, the internet and a network are two different things. So this device actually does both. It receives a 5G signal and then it rebroadcasts it using network address translation. That's called NAT. And guess what? If you only plug it into another router, that's exactly what a router does. It does NAT as well which gives you the double NAT scenario. Now, double NAT sounds bad, uh, but it really isn't. You can function quite well with double NAT. In fact, I did for over a year. It doesn't really slow things down. I can still run my VPNs. In fact, it makes your network more robust. So go ahead and do it. That's free. Now, if you are a gamer, you may see the, the double NAT pop up if you're trying to serve or create a P2P server, person-to-person -person server, player versus player, that kind of stuff. Uh, and that can be solved. Also, this is something that they told me I'd never be able to do, and that is I'm running a server, and it's available outside. And I was able to take not just one device, but my whole network and bring that outside. It's called bridge mode, and a couple of devices have it. Now, if you said, wait a second, I want what's available for, for free from T-Mobile, well, you can. <laughs> you can uh, not serve with, with that. But I was getting such good up speeds. I was getting over 100 megabit up. I wanted to take advantage of that and get back to serving, especially since now that Netflix is cracking down on, uh, on sharing your passwords. I have kids in college. I want to be able to allow them to watch the movies that I'm watching, and Plex enables me to do that. I have a library of 420 movies. And yeah, the kids can go ahead and watch that from anywhere. Speeds are excellent, and uh, I've solved all of these issues. So let's see. We've talked about heat. We've talked about location. Better access point. I actually have a larger home. I want to use a mesh network. I use the Orbi by Netgear, and I wanted to be able to use that solution. Again, I can plug in my modem-only mode using the equipment that they give you. All you gotta do is plug in here. Now I've made videos in the past about how to turn off the SSID. You don't have to do it. Think about a car overheating. Guess what, if it sits in your driveway and you don't use it, it's not gonna overheat. Same thing here. Just don't use the access point. It'll be fine. You're still gonna have a double NAT, but you'd have that if you turned it off anyway. So, how to get rid of the double NAT? All right. There are some pieces of hardware, some alternative gateways, and yes, we can take out the SIM card and put it in an alternative gateway and make it work. All you need to do is know your IMEI and your APN numbers and plug in all the right data so that that device looks like this device. Hang on to this device because you don't want to have another device reporting to be the same device on the network. So some people go, oh good, I can sell this. No, no don't sell it. Hang on to it because uh, you can't use both devices on the network at the same time because they appear to be the same. All right, now the two modems that I've, I've talked about in another video, I'll put a link to that, uh, they uh, w will enable you to go to bridge mode. What bridge mode effectively does is take the, I uh, the IP address from T-Mobile and pass it straight through to my Orbi Netgear uh, access point. The cool thing about my Orbi Netgear is it has a watchdog thing called DDNS. And what it's able to do is it watches, for, if my IP address changes, it reports it to a third party. The one I talked about was no IP. No IP is a great service. And if you have a named server, it'll keep track of your changing IP so it can always be found. This works great. Even though I allow my IP address to change all the time, 
Uh, it stays up to date. My friends can find it. My family can find it. It works great. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's the difference. And yeah, we can solve the heat problem. We can solve the access point problem. And we can go ahead and solve the ability to serve problem. This works phenomenally. So uh, I just wanted to go ahead and establish those terms so that people could say, I need to get in bridge mode. So I'll know what you mean by bridge mode. Bridge mode is going to involve a double nap because I can't turn off this device's need to translate the IP address that they gave. It won't pass it through. If you need to pass it through, then you got a modem only mode called bridge mode on two different devices. That's the Invisigig and that's the Ecom. I'll put links to both of those below as well as the video on which I talk about all that solution. Anyway, guys, there you go. Quick update. Um, I have so much more coming for you. I have a brand new modem uh, that's coming that's external, has a nice big antenna. Can't wait to get it. I have uh, some external power uh, sources coming. Can't wait to show you those. Uh, what I want to do is harness the power from the sun and use it every single day to heat my house. PG&E, screw them. <laughs> I'm tired of uh, these crazy prices and I'm tired of living in the cold. I've been gathering uh, power every day and then walking the, the inverter inside. I want to make my own solution even better, even bigger, and just wire in an outlet inside the house and plug it into a heater. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. We've done everything to these units, including adding external antennas, external uh, ports on them, and everything. We have it all working. It works phenomenally. Um, we have different modems that allow us to get different bandwidths. I had a preacher contact me today. He wants to be able to do mass, but guess what? He's like, I don't have enough bandwidth when he doesn't have us enough uplink. Uplink is the ability to serve data up. You want to be able to craft your solution. You want to be able to pick your bands, band lock, so you can get bands that some bands have a balanced upload and download speed. Other ones heavily favor download. So you want to be able to craft your signal so that you can get the performance that you need to do what you want to do. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.